Hi everybody, I'm trying to do something different this time. I want to compile three different requests that I have been getting in YouTube. The first one is uh, people asking me to make more minis. I don't know why lately everyone seems to like minis. Uh, so I'm showing you an accordion mini. I know there are so many great tutorials out there in YouTube. Um, but this time I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, Anyway, the second request, well, it's not, it's not a um, request really, it's more like a question. Um, I have been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of messages since I started uh, making videos in YouTube, gosh, what, um, three years ago? Uh, people wanting to know where I get all my materials. And I really don't have much, I just try to use what I have and... If you have read my profile information uh, in my channel, you will realize that I just don't uh, give any names for my materials. Um, I don't have any specific names that I like, brand that I like. Um, and I also don't give information about where I get the materials because really I get them everywhere, uh, wherever I can find them. And, but I know that if you there are so many people that um, send me messages from uh, Latin America or Spain uh, because really scrapbooking is not a big thing there and it's it's hard, very hard to find the materials there. So um, where I live, um, I can find some materials, but when I do, they are extremely, extremely expensive. So um, I decided to make this video for those crafty people who don't have access to scrapbooking materials. You will realize that um, you really don't need all those fancy stuff, of course. It's great to have them. I wish I had everything that is out there for scrapbooking. But you know what? Sometimes not having the materials makes you more creative. And that is what I think. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the third request I have been getting a lot and I really don't know why is making videos me talking rather than playing music. Um, as you have realized, English is not my first language and the first time I made a video with my voice, I just wanted to erase it right away. It was just so annoying. Anyways, you ask for it and this is it. Okay, uh, this is a mini that I made for my cousin Michelle, who just had a beautiful baby, Mathieu. And I got the paper from a gift shop. Let me show you. So this is the paper. And I just love the paper. It's just, it's simply wrapping paper. It's not even thick, you know. Um, I love the color and I love the pattern. And when getting the the um, wrapping paper for scrapbooking or for this kind of stuff um, it's better to get like no shiny paper see this is opaque anyways it's my personal preference it's just, um, it's just if it's just your mini you're gonna use it you can use whatever you want but it, I just think that is when it's shiny paper shiny wrapping paper it won't glue very well anyways I also got um, this Everything in a gift shop, eh? Any, it doesn't need to be a scrapbook uh, shop or nothing fancy, okay? Um, I also got this cardstock that match very well with the, with the wrapping paper. And this is also simple cardstock, it's not nothing fancy. Um, so, I don't have any embellishments, no die cuts, shiny stuff, stickers, nothing that you get specialized for scrapbooking. It's all made uh, with these papers that I got and a couple of things. Um, I did some stamps, uh, yes, and if you don't have stamps around, well, you can maybe handwrite things or draw something. Um, but you don't really need much. Maybe. Um, you you might want to get some brads and I don't know if you can find these these kind of things um, you will need some of these brads like this oops I don't know if you can see um, maybe a couple of those and a punch and this is just a simple punch that you can find in an office supply store 
anyways one thing you need to know though is that these papers this wrapping paper and all this coordinating paper that i just got in a in a gift shop uh they're not acid free but if you don't mind um and you just want to have fun crafting then just just buy those and do it okay so i made the cover with um uh, with simply um decal cereal boxes oh so i love cheerios so i just cut the cheerio box and i wrap it with the wrapping paper and that's it that is how i made the cover nothing fancy um what else uh even the flowers i made myself also with an um, old book and um and the cardstock that i got so anyways you don't need you don't need to hear how i made it because there are so many tutorials out there how to make these flowers now uh you open the the mini like that and you know these accordion minis they are usually very plain but i try to do things that are popping out uh up like that like this thing is just this envelope i just made it myself and um this button that well this is um this is a tag and this is to start just start uh, accumulating all the buttons from all shirts that you, if you're gonna throw them away then just keep them all and um, so also you don't need any die cut this I just made myself it's just um these birds let me see maybe you can see I really like these birds in the pattern in my wrapping paper so I want some for die cutting for embellishment so what I did is just a simple shape so I just cut the the um, cardstock and I put this and people call it dimensional if you don't have those um, you can get this kind of foam, foam adhesive and I really got this in a hardware store anyways another way to make um, die cuts by yourself is just like this house um, what I did is I took the wrapping paper I glue it on a cardstock and then I cut it. And then you have it. It's pretty cute. See? Okay, so let me show you.